Hi, let's solve for the value of x. First, we are going to remember or recall the law of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we are going to apply this law here, okay? So when we do that, we have 4 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, which is still 10, right? So we are going to divide through by 10 to the power of x. So divided by 10 to the power of x, divided by 10 to the power of x, divided by 10 to the power of x. So this, we we'll divide this. And another law of exponents we are going to consider is the one that states that a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m is equal to a divided by b raised to the power of m. All right? So we are going to apply this law here and here. And when we do that, we have 4 divided by 10 raised to the power of x plus 25 divided by 10 raised to the power of x is equal to 10. Okay. Now here, the, what they have in common is 2. So let's reduce this to its lowest term. So when 2 divides 4, we have 2. And when 2 divides 10, we have 5. So this is same thing as 2 over 5 to the power of x. All right? Then, plus here, they have 5 in common as the common factor, sorry. So 25 divided by 5, we give us 5. And 10 divided by 5, we give us 2. Raised to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, I want us to recall that 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1, okay? So that simply means that if we take the inverse of this, we are going to introduce minus sign to this place, right? So that is why we will write 2 divided by 5 raised to the power of x, all right? Plus 2 divided by 5. I've taken the inverse of 5 over 2. So the power becomes minus x is equal to 10. All right, now also note that x to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over x, just like I said before. So that means that to remove this negative sign, I need to introduce 1 over to this place, right? So that is exactly what I will do now. So I'll write 2 divided by 5 raised to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 over 5 raised to the power of x, all right, is equal to 10. Now we are going to say... Let 2 over 5 to the power of x be equal to y. All right? So if we do that, we have that y plus 1 over y is equal to 10. Okay? All right. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video so that you don't miss any of our videos. Okay? And please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. So the first thing we need to do now is to multiply through by y because I want to get a linear equation, right? Or uh, a quadratic equation. So um, to do that, I need to multiply this through by y. So I need a y multiplied by y will give me y squared, right? Plus 1 over y multiplied by y will give me 1 is equal to 10 why? I want you to watch to the end because this is not as easy as you think. Okay, watch to the end and see how we got the value of x from this y. All right, so we have y squared plus 1 is equal to 10 y. All right, then that means that y squared, this 10 y will cross become minus 10 y plus 1 is equal to 0. All right. Now, we are going to find the value of y using the quadratic equation formula, right? So, the quadratic equation formula states that y is equal to minus uh, b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now, your y is equal to, but before that, the value of our a is the quotient of y squared, which is 1, all right? So a is equal to 1. Our b is quotient of y, which is minus 10. So b 
is equal to minus 10. And our C is our constant. C is equal to 1. Okay? All right. Now, our Y is equal to minus B. That is minus minus 10, which is 10, plus or minus square root of B squared. That is 10 squared, which is 100, minus 4AC. That is 4 times 1 times 1, which will still give us 4. Divided by 2A, that is 2 times 1, which will still give us 2. Okay? So, if we solve this further, we will have, permit me to clean this side. So, permit me to clean this side. So, if we solve this further, we will have that our y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of. Now, 100 minus 4 will give us 60. Sorry. 100 minus 4 will give us 96. So, we have 96. Now, divided by 2. All right. So we have that y is equal to 10 plus or minus. Now, 96 is same thing as square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 6 divided by 2. All right. So our y is equal to 10 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. We have 4 root 6. Okay. Divided by 2. So our y is equal to, let's factorize 2 here out. So 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 root 6. Okay? Divided by 2. Now this we divide this and we have that. I want to clean here but before that I need to write this out because we still need it. So 2 minus 5, 2 divided by 5 raised to the power of x is equal to y. So let me write this somewhere. 2 over 5 raised to the power of x is equal to y. All right. So we continue. So we can write that our y is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 root 6. Okay? All right. So we recall that our y is equal to 2 to the power of 2 over 5 to the power of x. So we have 2 divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 root 6. Okay? So we have 2 over 5 to the power of x. Now, to remove this or to get the value of x, you need to introduce log to both sides of the equation. So when we do that, we have log 2 divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 plus or minus 2 root what, 6. Okay, now, we're going to bring this x down. Why? And that is because when you have log a to the power of b, this is equal to b multiplied by log a. All right? So because of that, we can confidently bring down our x to multiply log 2 over 5. So we have x log 2 over 5 is equal to log 5 plus or minus square root of 6. Okay? Now we have, for us to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides of this equation by log 2 over 5. So we have x log 2 over 5 divided by log 2 over 5. Okay? is equal to log 5 plus or minus square root of 6 divided by log 2 over 5. So this, we divide this. We have that x is equal to log 5 plus or minus root 6, all right? Base, what? Base 2 over 5, yes. And that is because when you have log a divided by log b, this is same thing as log A base B, okay? So that simply means that the two values of our x is x is equal to log 5 plus root 6, 2 over 6, over 5, or x is equal to log 5 minus root 6, base 2 over 5. So these are the two values of our x. Thank you so much for watching.